Good morning. It's a kind of a dreary Sunday morning here in Michigan. Oops, it's afternoon. Anyway, I thought I would share with you how I made this happy birthday card using the sweet ice cream set. Um, and it comes with a corresponding punch. So here's the card. And when you open it, there's another card in it. How cute is that? I still have to finish this one. And here's one that's not quite finished on the top. But the inside is finished. And this is the one that's not quite finished either. Aren't those cute? So it's real easy to do. It looks difficult, but it's not. I just love how you open it up and boom, these pop right out at you. So what we need is we're going to need a card base that is five and a half by ten. And we're going to score this at four and a quarter and eight and a half. Then we're going to need a piece that is four and a half by seven and a half. We need to score it at two and a half, three and a half, four and a quarter, and seven. So that's the basic. We'll also need for our outside a piece of designer series paper that's four by five and a quarter and three pieces for the inside that measure two and a half by four and a quarter. So the first thing that we need to do, let me put this over where you can see it, okay, is we need to fold this on all of our score lines. So let's just give that a good score. And then we're going to fold this side in. And we're going to score that real good. First thing we're going to do is we're going to tape this flap closed. So on the very top, we're going to put our glue. And at the very bottom, top and bottom, and we're just going to close that and give it a good seal. We're done with this for right now, so let's just set it aside. Now we need our piece that is four and a half by seven and a half. And I've already scored this at two and a half, three and a half, four and a quarter, and seven. So first thing we're gonna do is score this on all the score lines. Okay, so when you're finished, it should look like this tab back here is folded back, and then you've got it so that it looks kind of like a W. And what we're going to do is I've got some Super Seal Plus here. I am just going to put glue on the inside of these mountain and valleys here, and I'm really going to glue it down good. So now I've got glue there. You could use sticky tape. I recommend using a really good heavy glue because it's going to get a lot of abuse. So we're just going to close that. Give it a good burnish. So you're almost all the way there. So now what we need to do, oh, you didn't stay closed, did you? You know what? that doesn't stay closed. I should have used either tear and tape or the super glue. So now, oh, I was going to put a piece of white here just so we have a piece. Oh, it's a little big. Okay, I've got a piece I believe that's four by five and a quarter. I'm just going to put that there. It's going to give us some place to um, write. So let's put a, a white piece in there and I just need a little glue there. I love using the Tombow glue. It uh, gives you a little wiggle room. So let's just put this on the inside. Get it where we want it. Give it a good press. So you have your cover. You have your inside piece. And we have our piece folded in. So what we're going to do now is take our stickiest tape. Now you'll see I've got this open. It looks, looks like it opens backwards as a book. But if you're left-handed, it opens right. Okay, so it opens like this. This folded piece is going to slide in here, 
and this piece is going to get glued. So I'm going to put a piece, some glue right here on this piece. Okay, so I have my glue there. Now what I'm going to do, whoa, is we're going to slide this in here as far as it goes. And then I'm going to pull it up so that it's I've got it centered in here and I'm going to put the edge of this pink uh, I believe this is blush blossom and this is blackberry bliss so I'm just going to bring that edge of that right up to the fold and now I'm going to fold my card give it a little burnish and that's how you get the mechanism not hard at all is it that just so we'll take our piece of designer series paper and I don't know if I like this side or this side you know what if I want to send it to a guy I think I'll do this one I got a brother with him who had a birthday and I missed his card did you know with your if you can't get your um, stamp and seal to go forward instead of using your finger this is a piece of silicone back here just slide it forward on there and it'll get going again there we go just like I knew what I was doing. Alrighty. So let's put that on here. And then we'll take our sheets of, oh, I forgot this piece. I also, we're going to need, you can, this is optional. But we need a piece that is one and a half by five and a quarter and that's going to go right here on this piece so this is where's my pen ah and we're going to need a piece that's one and a half by five and a quarter let me double check one yep that's going to go right here I don't know if you can hear in the background or not. My husband is um, playing his polkas this morning. And it's just not Sunday morning till the polkas come on. All right, there. Now we've got that decorated. So we've got our three pieces of designer series paper. Now there's, there's two sided. So pick which one you want on your front. This will be glued here. Now, when you go to glue this one, Get your glue as close to the edge as you can. Because you don't want it to catch. All right, you stay down here, will you? There we go. So let's put this right here. And then we'll put these in here. And if you want, you can take a piece of design of uh, white that is um, two and a quarter by four to put right here. So that's all there is to that card. The rest is just left for decorating. So let me show you. There is, this is my piece that's two and a quarter by four. And that's all there is to that card. Wasn't it easy and fun? Here's one decorated on the front, but the inside isn't finished. So, okay, that's all there is to that fun little card. Um, it is celebration time, and for every $50 that you sell, not only does Stampin' Up! give you a choice of what's in the celebration book, but I also give you a punch because your order's $40 or more. When you get 10 punches, you get $40 free. Um, and everyone who orders $40 or more from me during celebration is going to get a free class when celebration is over. And we're going to use some of this beautiful paper that's in here. And I'll do another video a little later on showing you all the good stuff that's in there. So for right now, I, that was my... Just wanted to show you how to do the happy birthday. So your card base is five and a half by ten. 
uh, you scored at four and a quarter and at eight and a half. And then the inside piece is this, and I showed you how to put that together. So I hope you have fun. I'd like to see what your layouts are. If you have any questions, just let me know. Happy stamping. Ta-ta for now.